everybody, I hope you're all doing well. We've got Bella and Gary today helping us stitch. So I thought I could start by showing you the finished hill. So we finished it in the first colour and we're just going to go back in the second colour. So we didn't go over the bunny rabbit. I just did it up till here and then started again on this side. So we're going to go in with the second colour just to fill in this bottom bit and get that lovely soft shading. And then we're going to come up, down, yeah, like that. I think I might have started with a short one there by accident. You meant to start with the long, what it says in the instructions. So long. And short. So we're doing this one, the second colour, in a single thread rather than the double which we used before. Oh, I'm doing it one handed. I need to start doing it two handed. So I thought it was a long one. And long. So I'm following the advice which Philip had put in the instructions yesterday of trying to make sure that I keep my stitches really close together to get that dense look and I've just realized here I missed a bit I think that was where I was switching over a thread so I'm going to go back in afterwards with the double thread of the first clutch just to fill in these holes here So Laura Jantek left a lovely comment saying that she's just started the Jacobean medley, which is a lovely kit, um, and how she's wanting to do the Tree of Life next. And I can definitely recommend this kit. As much as I've loved doing the stag and the cuckoo and the red work rabbit, I think this might be my favourite. I quite like that there's lots of little bits so you can change what you're doing and it's building on things that I've already done without it feeling repetitive which is really nice so when you get started on the tree of life Laura do let us know and leave some pictures of how you get on because I really enjoy seeing everyone's pictures as I said yesterday of how you're getting on with your kits because it's nice to see what other people are doing plus it gives you good ideas for what kit to do next if you see someone doing a kit that you are not you've not done yet <laughs> got most of this first bit of the hill or hummock um, done and I'm just getting to the bunny rabbit. Oh, my thread's just come off my needle. Um, so I thought I'd show you how I went around the bunny rabbit because um, Philip explains it really well in the instructions. Um, and it's actually really easy. You think it might be a bit tricky, but it's not too bad. So I'm just gonna come up. I can still fit this one at the tail. I'm just going to bring it down there. So that was a short one. And then a long. And you're just going to go to the outline of the rabbit, a bit like we'd go on the outline of this hill. Like that. I was a bit nervous when I first saw <laughs> that we were going to have to go around the bunny rabbit. Because I'd never really done anything like that. Just 
come up here and down. Yeah, so and Philippa's really good piece of advice in the instructions is to not be afraid to go deep with the second colour into the first colour like I've done along the way on a few I, I like to do it so <laughs> I might do it a tad bit too much but it's a tip that it's not the first time I've seen the tip in the instructions it was in another I think it was the cuckoo and probably the stag as well is to not be afraid to go really far into the second colour so I'm just gonna do one more little one there because my threads nearly ran out, I'm just going to put a little season stitch into there. I'm going to get a new thread just to go on here. But Philip does say in the instructions, if your thread is long enough, just go around the back of the rabbit and come up behind it and then get it and start again. So I've just started the new stitch. And we start again on this side. It's not too big of a hill so we'll be finished this one very quickly. It's a nice hill to start on this one as well because the others we have three colours I think which I'm a tad nervous to start because that's I, with the stag I struggled a little bit just knowing the depth of the stitches sometimes so I'm going to go and read Philippa's instructions thoroughly when we get onto that just to make sure I have a good idea of how big to make the stitches Always losing my needle on my thread. So here is the finished first hill, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. There's a few areas where I need to just go back with the first colour, like here, but overall, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So tomorrow, yeah, it'll be tomorrow, we're going to be moving on to a different stitch, you'll be pleased to hear, and we're going to be doing just these little bits of like grass leaves here and we're going to be doing the closed fly stitch again so that's what we're going to start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 